in South Africa, it is very easy to get away with murder, quite literally. Because did you know that the police have closed 80,000 unsolved murder cases since 2018? That's justice denied for the victims, the survivors and their families. Accounts for two-thirds of all murder cases reported to the South African Police Service since 2018. Uh, All was containing information that the Democratic Alliance received after um, applying for a promotion of access to information requests to obtain details on these dockets. And on the 7th of August, the current Minister of Police, Senzo Nkunu, furnished the DA with a detailed breakdown of these dockets. So between 2018 and December uh, 2023, the following total numbers of dockets were closed without result. This is according to the minister. Murder, 76,000 cases. Attempted murder, 40,000. Assault, GBH, 141,000. Aggravated robbery, 256,000 cases. Rape, 61,000 cases. Sexual assault, 5,000. Kidnapping, 9,114 cases. Lisa Schickling is the DA MP as well as a deputy spokesperson for police for the Democratic Alliance. You have the numbers, but does the police ministry say why these cases were closed without any result? Lisa, good morning. Good morning, Lester and all the listeners out there this morning. Um, yeah, so it was quite a, a eye opener when we received these um, these statistics. Um, the police say that the dockets have been closed due to insufficient evidence and leads. Um, that is the main reason why these dockets have been closed. Um, and, and I do understand in a certain sense that um, they are struggling. Um, they have informed us that they are struggling with um, enough detectives. Um, unfortunately, the caseload is, is such a, of such a high n- a number that each detective has between 350 and 400 dockets lying on their tables at the moment. So it is no wonder that they do not get to everybody and that um, many of the cases are closed due to insufficient evidence. And I've, as you have rightfully said, justice denied is definitely justice delayed. Another shocking statistic coming out is that according to the minister, 68% of dockets stolen from stations were open cases of rape and sexual assault. These are cases that are primarily recorded in Limpopo province. It's raising serious questions about the effectiveness of docket management within the SAP, yes, Lisa? So that is one area that was actually of a massive concern to me when I looked at the statistics. I mean, it is... Um, only 18 files. It is not a lot, even though it's in Limpopo, it's 68.8%. What is concerning to me that the files that are lost and stolen were all for rape and for um, sexual assault, and no other dockets have gone missing um, in that uh, province of murder or attempted murder. So there's definitely a concern in that department and that area, and for that reason, we've requested um, via a letter to the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee, Ian Cameron, to request the the Limpopo Provincial Commissioner to be brought before the committee so that he can come and discuss these matters with us and explain to us what is happening in that department because we are very concerned. Um, As we all know, GBV is a big problem in our country and for files to be missing and stolen, um, 68% is a massive concern. Let's just look at 76,655 murder cases. Those are cases where there is a corpse, there is a body literally of evidence right there uh, that you'd expect all the forensic evidence would have been collected surely if we look at the the number of uh, murder cases largely interpersonal largely as a result of uh, alcohol and, and 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 substance intake there must have been people around that scene to have witnessed one of those 76,000 murder cases and now simply just being closed those families have not received any justice. Um, it's, it's, is it more than just detectives? Is, is, is it about the type of detective work that's also being done? Is it the type of the forensic evidence 
that is being done? Is it is it the case of people who may be witnesses to these cases not willing to give any statements to police and therefore police say, well, we don't have sufficient evidence to build a case and therefore we're closing these cases, Lisa? Yeah, so, you know, I mean, as you said, 76,000 out of 114,000 is, uh, two-thirds of them have been closed, 70%. Um, there, uh, there are so many um, attributes to this, definitely um, resources in the police, resources um, with um, vehicles, resources um, regarding um, the forensics uh, unit and the lab. I mean, South Africa definitely has to invest in a, in a world-class forensic unit and lab. And um, it, it, it is a problem. The buccal samples are not taken properly. And then obviously we sit with a lot of bribes where witnesses are bribed to um, withdraw their statements or they are bribed not to give evidence. Um, telephone numbers don't work. And unfortunately, a lot of these murders are committed by um, foreign nationals. And um, we don't have um, uh, proper services where we can check that they for their um, fingerprints and, and our database is not up to date. So the database has to be updated and we have to make sure that we, um, we, we um, make sure that the case goes properly from court um, to, uh, sorry, from the police station to court and that there's a, there's a better working relationship in the justice system between the police and the justice. Many of these offenders um, are, are um, court and then they go to to jail and they're just let out on bail and these are repeat offenders and um, there has to be a discussion and a better working relationship between uh, justice and the police to ensure that we um, that that this doesn't happen that offenders aren't just released on bail and um, that the, there's a better prosecution outcome. Lisa Schickeling she's a DAMP also a deputy spokesperson on police.